Hey everybody, John Lang, Wash Life. How are we doing today? Today we're on a big old job. You see this house? It's real big on the front side too. But we're doing a house wash. It's very tall. Very tall. Doing a house wash and inside out window cleaning. Very old storm windows. It's probably gonna take us quite a while to do this job. Definitely probably gonna have to come back tomorrow. Especially because we got a late start today. So, if you look at the weather, it's been raining. It rained all night. It's overcast today. The concrete's still wet. You see that? So we're going to do this house wash. Let me come over here to show you the front. We're going to do this house wash without pre-wetting anything. Everything's already wet. Even the plants. Everything's soaked. It's not soaking up no more. Like that. So we're gonna dual team this. Colt's gonna run the truck. We got two gallons, two five gallon pails full of 12.5 bleach, 12.5 pool shock. So we're using the pool shock and gain surfactant. The reason why we're using gain is because I ran out of eliminator and it's good to use in a pinch. Um, also this window job's gonna be a pain because the guys I ordered my stuff from messed up my order, so nothing came in. No new rubbers, no nothing. So, I got my order completely wrong, too. <sighs> but, um, so yeah, we're gonna get started. We're mixing five gallon buckets to downstream out of. Again, it's just straight bleach, no mixing with water, and our surfectant. We use a whole cap full of game. We might be adding more, we're just gonna see how see if it's soapy enough um, and the reason why is because that tank is just used to hold bleach now because of the roof it's hooked up to the roof pump so oh I forgot to zip tie this back together so that tank is hooked up you know it's it's for it's for this so we need straight bleach in that tank straight water and straight surfactant and then we dial it in but for this job we're not going to be using that roof pump so we got to just you know i need more tanks long story short i need a nice i need to use a tank for downstreaming house washing and then a tank that holds just straight up what i need all right we're gonna get started Two machines at the same time. So one thing, man, I know you're not gonna be able to hear me because it's so windy. There he is, washing that garage up. Look at him. I'm gonna try and get covered by the garage here. Did you get the front yet or no? Alright. So, uh, here, let me, sorry. I'm gonna hide out right here. It's a good spot. So, part of uh, what I'm really trying to work on now is <laughs> just getting bleach tripped all over me. Um, really trying to let go of control you know a lot of the times what happens when we're working is I just we're always in a rush always trying to get things done always trying to meet these high quotas and stuff and the reality is I have to you know I have to go through that phase of making a little less an hour which is still good but making less an hour and properly training everybody having everybody do this stuff firsthand so that I can step away and trust my guys to wash these houses and then they're confident washing houses you know where things are going I can't let people I can't let anyone go do anything on their own does that make sense so really trying to put more trust in these guys they're doing great uh, Aaron's using the eight gallon a minute Colt's using the truck uh, he's doing what he can hey Aaron 
Colt, how high up were you able to reach? Uh, basically, the top of that round window right there. Hey, Aaron. So you're going to have to come around here where Colt was and basically hit the second story. He was only able to get so high. And I hit the front here, but if anything looks like it needs to be hit again, go ahead and hit it. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Two power washers going at the same time. Kicking, kicking ass. So, yeah, unfortunately we forgot the wand for Colt's gun. So we only, he's got the four gun and he's using the handgun. And, uh, only able to reach so high. And we were going to switch, but, but then Aaron wouldn't be able to reach the second story with the eight gun in it. I'd rather be able to reach the second story with the eight gun in it. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's that. Um, really trying to just let them do things, give them pointers when I can, but kind of also let them try to figure this out on their own. House is turning out great though. Uh, it's a nice day to be doing it too, because the overcast. So we're just spraying on the chem and letting it sit for really as long as it needs to. Everything's soaking wet. So we had this porch. I want to show you this porch. This was a tough, a tough one, especially because it's really windy. This porch here is like a astro turf. You got it kind of muddy too, but I mean, there's no way to avoid it. So um, what we did is tried to cover them up with tarps. Unfortunately, we only had tape. The tape wasn't sticking. Luckily, there was like these hooks in place. We were able to hook the tarps. And we could only do half of the room at a time, but the wind was blowing and the tarps were going. So I had to basically, we tarp from the inside and held it in place. And uh, you know, in reality, this probably would have, the, the stuff would have been okay, but we had this table and we just don't want to be spraying bleach indoors if we can avoid it, even if it is a porch. So we covered it, but honestly, this AstroTurf is all right. Um, it doesn't it doesn't spot or bleach from what I could tell so we'll be okay um, another thing that's cool about this job is I just landed pretty much landed a triple duplex roof cleaning job and his house and these two duplexes next door <laughs> the landlord came by and it's like I really want to get squeezed in this year so blah 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 so having a good day um, yeah, unfortunately, we got to do the window cleaning on this house, too. And I'm trying to think of a way to just tell them we don't want to clean the windows anymore. <laughs> I know that's bogus, but no, we'll do it. But, man, this order really messed me up. I ordered some stuff, and it didn't, they messed it all up. They've never dropped the ball like that before. Um, I'm not going to put the company's business out there because they have been good to me. But um, I'm really salty about that. doesn't seem like they give a shit. Um, yeah, I have no rubbers. I have a 22 inch squeegee and a eight inch, mainly I have no rubbers. That's the worst part. So I don't even know. And these are storm windows, but look at that range. Look at that range. This is like a three story house. You guys, he's reaching this from the ground. It's beautiful. This is very tall up. So you got the basement there. First story second story and then there's like an attic type adjust place. So this is like at least it really feels like a three-story house when you're next to it. It's probably like 25 to 30 feet. I don't know if it's quite 30. It's looking good. Are you able to stand like this way and try to hit that? So I know that that section of gutter where the peak meets is gonna be a problem. Hey 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 thanks for watching the video. Appreciate you. Listen, if you have a chance, go ahead and check out the new website we launched, 25gfx.com slash washlife. I think you'll see we have really good rates on prints and the pretty dang good designs. Um, yeah, in that video, I wanted to just kind of re-mention, re like, we are downstreaming straight 12.5 bleach. Like, in the buckets, when we're downstreaming, that what we're downstreaming is straight bleach. We're not diluting it anymore. Um, this is, it's awesome because I don't have to keep going over stuff and going over stuff and, you know, it's with the cold weather, it's just harder to get that stuff clean. So it's really nice. 
We might start diluting it a little bit once summer hits, but I'm maybe not because it's just really nice having that stuff kill it off the first time around and we'll just keep going. Still not having any issues with killing plants or damaging anything. Um, the downstreaming, it's just a lighter mix. You know, once you get into roof cleaning and stuff like that, it's a little trickier. You got to be more cautious, but the downstreaming, you're pretty safe as long as you, you know, try not to let things dry. Try not to let that, that, that chem dry on anything. Um, but yeah, hey, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I don't know what you're waiting for. And uh, check out that website. I think you guys will be really happy with what we got on there. Peace.